Hi everybody, it's me, Jessica Lahore, and you're watching Lahore Tube. And uh, this is the Love for Colorado Drag series. Uh, I do my little preface. I just want to recognize and show some love for Colorado drag all over the state. So you could be a first-time entertainer, a long time, first show that we only met once. We could have maybe never met or met many times, worked together once, not worked together. It doesn't really matter. The idea is that I'm just doing this and showing some love. I talk about first impressions. I talk about favorite memories. I talk about uh, favorite performances. I talk about anything that comes to mind. I don't think it out. I don't plan it out. It's not edited. It's just whatever I spill the beans on. And this is going to be, oh, and I say it with the best intent. I always have to say that. So if you think something's ever shady, don't. Great. So um, my, sh uh, so this is Love for Colorado Drag. I'm going to do episode number 12. 12. Oh my gosh, we're already on 12. Um, so I'm going to do it on Piper DeBulge. Piper DeBulge is a drag queen in Fort Collins that regularly comes down to Denver to perform. And let me talk about my first impression with Piper. I remember having Piper at a show at our bar and lounge, and I think it was a benefit that I actually got to watch her for the first time. It was a benefit I was supposed to be in, but I couldn't make it, but I went to support anyway. Complicated. And immediately, my immediate thought and I know that queens don't like being compared, and I definitely don't have that same comparison now, but my first immediate thought was, this entertainer is the love child of Cristal and myself. Like, if me and Cristal were to have a baby, I feel like it would be Piper DeBulge at the beginning of her, start of her drag when I saw her. The reason that I think that is that I think Piper is one of the highest energy, most unique dancing performers that I've ever seen. There's very, there's a lot of great dancers, a lot of high energy performers, but one of the most unique that I've ever got to experience watching, okay? Now, um, where the side of me comes in is that she is doing reveals, and she's doing wig reveals, and she does comedy. So what I consider her to be also be not only one of the best, unique, high-energy performers, but she is such a universal, well-rounded queen. There are very far and very few in between that I would consider an overarching, well-rounded entertainer, Okay. And here's what I mean by that. Piper creates her own mixes. Piper does a lot of high energy dance, but she also does comedy. She also does ballad stuff. She does spoken word. Um, she does things that are unique that you would not expect her to do or put anybody to do in a mix. Um, she finds and discovers songs and stuff or little clips and puts them into hysterical mixes as well. Piper um, makes a lot of her stuff. She's crafty as fuck. She's witty as all hell. She has a very unique humor. So when she hosts, it's not necessarily sexual or vulgar. Um, it's more on the like dry humor where it's like you relate to it and that's what is funny about it because you can relate to it. Piper styles her own wigs. She's motivated. She is willing to produce and get names out there and create brands for herself. She did create a brand for herself right off the bat. She can pad. She can go body. She can do whatever she wants. She can do a little bit of everything. To me, she encompasses, and she's professional, she encompasses what I would consider a well-rounded drag queen, and one of the, the very few, maybe 25 people in Colorado that I would consider a well-rounded drag queen, um, because of all of that. Um, I remember when I first met Piper, after seeing her that first time, all of the people in, all of the, like, no-co, glitter troop people got together for a lunch one time, and I was like, I want to ask Piper to bulge to be my drag daughter. Fun fact, Piper, you never knew. Um, and then there was another entertainer at that table who was like, no. I'm going to ask her. She's going to be my child. I was like, fine. Like, if you're going to handle it, that's whatever. I'm just going to extend a little bit of Auntie Jessica's advice or anything that she wants because she's just starting out. I want her to know she can come to me. If you're going to have her be her, your drag child and you're going to be that way, that's fine. Know that I was thinking about it, though. Um, and there's also only, like, five people that I've wanted to be a drag childer directly into the House of Lahore that quickly. It doesn't happen very often. This was before Lola, too, I think. And so that was part of that. Uh, I love Piper so much. 
I love that she's fun to be around. I love the quirky, stupid videos that she puts out. She's really good at building and recognizing her brand and how to represent it on social media to get the most response. And I think that takes a business business savvy individual that not many people have that quality about. Um, I would love to see her more into the scene. I remember that she was really, really thriving and striving with Ultimate Queen. And when she was doing that, it brought a lot of recognition and a lot of, uh, a lot of just like her putting her face out there. Um, one of my favorite memories with Piper DeBulge, uh, I would say it was when we co-hosted together at the Whiskey and it's just because that space is such a freeing space. If you've ever been a special guest or a uh, guest host, you know that it's a freeing space to just like playful shade and just laugh and have a good time and play off of each other. And I think that I liked that so much because I saw this complete 360 like turnaround from when I f went from those first experiences with her to where she is now, where she's just completely self-made. I'd love to see her in Drag Nation. I would love to see her host a show in Denver. I think that if you haven't gotten a chance to work with her yet, that she's one of those people that when she walks into a show, you don't know what you're going to get. And I love that shock factor and that surprise. Um, it's not just always a one-note thing. There's always different elements to it. She's someone that head-to-toe thinks about the performance and thinks about her drag and thinks about those small details. Um... Piper, we don't know each other on the most personal level, but you have always been the most kind to me, um, most appreciative of, of help or advice, and the most humble about it as well. Um, you're somebody that is always trying to look for new opportunities and embrace the opportunities that you've been given, and I definitely think that you, I mean, you are one of those people that you have the option to continue to progress, to continue to stay just doing the shows that you're doing, or kind of control where you want your career to go, but you have the ability, and I know that you have the ability, to push it very, very far. And it's just obviously seen with the amount of response and the amount of love that you get from the surrounding cities around you. So, yeah, I, Piper, I think that you're great. I think that you're really, really phenomenal. My favorite performance is probably the Bitch Better Have My Money where you come out in the hairnet in the robe and you're doing the taxes and you're collecting money in a, in a can. I think that's my favorite number because it's such a 360... I've said that twice already. Such a 360 turnaround from what you would expect the number to be. This like comedic Medea kind of moment to being this dance the house down, everybody's on their feet screaming because that's what you bring to the table. Um, Piper, I love you. I, I can't wait to work with you next. I'm always appreciative of every show that we get to work together on. And yeah, make sure that you comment below photos or memories with them or just any kind of love that you've got. Uh, Piper, I love you. Follow her on social media, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody!